love to do an air squat. So this move is deceptively, it looks simple, but it is not quite so simple. So really focusing on having good form with an air squat is gonna help you get the most out of it. I want you to start with your feet just about shoulder width apart, toes slightly turned out. And you're gonna keep your chest lifted, lower abs are nice and tight, and hips are slightly twist or slightly rolled under. Um, you're gonna take this movement down. As you go down in your squat, make sure you're sitting back. You wanna put the weight through your heels and allow your hips to come down to knee level or just maybe a little bit lower, and then rise back up. So you're squatting down. As you come up, you let your hands come down. Chest stays lifted the whole time. If you do not have knee problems, then you can take this movement a little deeper and allow your hips to go just a little below. So, you want to put them together, really get some momentum going, let your heart rate come up. A couple watch outs. A lot of people find that the faster they go with air squats, that their knees start to come, start to, um, come in towards each other. So here, that's something you want to avoid for sure. So you want to press out. You want to make sure you keep your knees pressing out the whole time you're doing them and get to full depth. If you struggle getting to full depth, you can use something to sit toward. I like to grab a wall ball. So you're going to set a wall ball up right behind you, heels in front of it, and then you can use that as a guide so that your glutes just barely graze it, not actually sitting on it. You just want to use it as a mark to know how deep to sit. And that is proper form for an air squat. 